In the following example, we're asked to add the following polynomials. So I'm going to give you two simple steps that you can follow to do this very easily. So the first step is to get in descending order. Right, so that's the first step. The second step is put in what I call column four. So now in order to do this, let's take the first polynomial expression. We know that it's already in descending order, so that's perfect. The second one is also in descending order. So now all we need to do is write this in column form. And this is how we do it. Negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 7. And then right below it we will write plus a 2x squared minus 3x plus 10. Now we will add using addition rules that we've used we're adding just the same way that we used to add when we were in grade school except we're working with integers now so now we have negative 3 plus 2 which we know to be negative 1 so then we have a negative x squared you might write the negative 1 x squared but the 1 is not necessary so negative x squared works then we have 5x minus 3x so 5 minus 3 is a positive 2 so we'll write plus 2x, and then we have negative 7 plus 10, which we know to be positive 3. So, after putting this in column form, we have our answer. Negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. Looking at the next polynomial expression, again, we're going to get each in descending order. We know that the first is already in descending order, so we can just simply rewrite it. Minus 3x squared plus x minus 4. Now the second expression is not in descending order, but we will put it in descending order. The first term here should be minus x squared, and then plus 3x and then plus 8. So notice that each one matches up accordingly based on the variable and exponent as well as power that is associated with it. So since this is addition, we'll write out our addition sign up front. Minus 3 plus a minus 1 is negative 4, so then it becomes a negative 4 x squared. x plus 3x becomes a plus 4x since 1 plus 3 is 4 and negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4. So our answer here becomes negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now you may be wondering what if you're missing terms and not everything lines up. So we'll address that in the very next example. So we have x minus 7x cubed plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 8x. We notice that in the first polynomial expression, we are missing an x squared term. So first of all, let's get this in descending order, and then we'll see what we do. So the first set of expressions, we'll write negative 7x cubed, and then I'm going to write plus a 0x squared, and I'll explain that in a minute plus x. Now the second expression we see is already in descending order. So then we will write plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 8x. So notice we were missing an x squared term in the first expression. So I have now written in a 0x squared since I had 0x squared. There were no x squared, so I had zero of them. So by simply writing in a zero x squared here, I have taken care of the missing value. So this won't change our expression at all. Because notice, zero minus anything or zero plus anything is simply itself. So 
we'll work on the addition. Negative 7 plus 2 becomes negative 5. So negative 5 x cubed, 0 minus an x squared. Well, that stays the same. That stays unchanged. Minus x squared plus x plus 8x, which is 9x. So we have added the following, the given polynomials using descending order and column form.